All right, Kimberly, it's wonderful to see you uh, here and let's get started because we have a lot to cover. So congratulations on everything you are doing. It's amazing. Really love that whole idea. Let me share my screen and start with the presentation. All right, okay. And I hope what, what we will be talking about today will actually help you uh, when it comes to reaching your goals and your plans and everything else that you have. So don't hesitate to ask questions. I will be asking questions during the presentation as well. All right, okay. So um, my name is Edita Sachel and we are talking about earning 10% commission with the business of traveler well-being. And I will explain everything here. And that, what we are going to talk about is, you know, how can we upsell to every single client, even if they already came back home from their trip. Uh, increase how we can increase the revenue by selling added value services, which are not, and I want to highlight, are not the traditional ones, like, you know, insurance, transportation, activities, and other things, right? How can we optimize our groups, revenue from our groups, build our client loyalty and advocacy? And actually, uh, uh, one of the items, whatever you will learn today, everything what you will learn today, also will help you compete hugely because this is then when you are able to compete uh and i will tell you how uh, building client loyalty and advocacy is key and it's so much easier all right okay people's most important life events uh you will make their events even more memorable and of course you will be able to acquire a new skill all right this is my story and let me tell you <laughs> every time i look at the picture and i am sharing the picture because i feel i look like america's most wanted i'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> that's how i felt when i was taking the picture really, really what happened i spent 20 years in corporate america in the travel industry i know the travel industry really 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 well and i started at the help desk and i in the period of 10 11 years i i actually became vp vice president of product management revenue management and so on and so on right many other things and i had a big team who worked for me and a lot of other people and things that i managed i traveled i traveled every single week monday to friday i was exhausted not only that i when you can only imagine um when i traveled i did gain weight 30 pounds i couldn't lose it i didn't know how and um i was swollen puffy i was sick i even you know there were two things actually that happened in my life one of the, those things was when i was traveling to a conference i was speaking in front of 100 people without a makeup on for an executive person it's devastating right we need to be able to not only articulate what we want to articulate but to do it with with grace right do it with you know, so that people know us and tr can trust us. But you know what? What they do, we know that, right? They judge us, you know, based on the 10 first seconds, right? That's what it is. When they see it, they first look at us and then listen to what we say. I got sick on the way to that event. I don't even know how. I think I know, but whatever. So I was sick. It was going up and it was going down. I'm telling you. <laughs> this was the moment where I didn't want to the, the presentation, but I still had to present. No one cared, you know? I still had to present. No one cared. And people were like, you know what? You look sick. But you know what? No one cared. I thought that those FAQ questions will never end, right? Um, that's one thing that happened. And the second thing that happened, really, I have a daughter. I remember when I came back from yet another travel, um, she came home, she was crying and she from from school and she said, mom, I said, what happened? And I was back from a trip and she told me, mom, we had a Mother's Day event today and you were the only mom who didn't show up. Can you imagine this? The only mom who didn't show up. And I said, oh my Lord, there is something wrong with me. So during my corporate time, uh, corporate America time, I actually uh, became a certified health coach. So congratulations, Kimberly, to you for making the decision on and doing coaching in future too. It's important. People need help. We need to help them open their eyes, uh, their eyes. And I hope that this presentation will also help. You know. Uh, you know, creating a lot of aha moments, right? So that's what it is. And I decided right then I need to change my life. I need to transform myself first to be able to help other people too, right? Because I truly believe 
It's all about looking and feeling your best, right? Beauty, confidence, confidence creates productivity and productivity when we have that generate success for us right and we all want to look 10 years younger that's what i believe in so how did i go from <laughs> seriously from this on the left america's most wanted to that in the middle you know corporate business woman and so on to a private i mean it's not about you know quitting jobs it's not about that far from it but a person who you know what as we say we can have it all right so what i want to do um i want to show you a video so let me do first, and I need to, I think, one more time, stop uh, stop sharing and then share it again. One second, because I need to turn the volume, okay, Sh uh, share sound. All right, okay. So this is the first video. We'll show two videos. So I want you to watch this so you can see how that changed. How can we change limiting beliefs into the powerful decisions? It's all about saying, I am powerful. It's all about that I am, right? I can do it. Joining us now is Ada Satchel, a travel wellness expert. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Well, our next guest has ways to turn that experience into one that can work for you. Ada Satchel. On my way to Europe, and uh, my journey starts today. Ada Satchel is the founder of Satchel Global Travel Wellness. Nutrition health coach, also known as America's travel wellness expert. Yeah, and I've just been talking to her a minute ago, and she looks pretty well indeed. And we'll be taking a talking even about self-empowerment, practicing gratitude, and making powerful decisions. Welcome to the show, how are you? Thank you very much for having me. So this, is, this was my journey, my little transformation, my little adventure, the things that we did that I was able to do and create. And you know what, Kimber Kimberly, you will do the same thing. <laughs> I can guarantee you that because those are the amazing. If there is something we believe in, we'll definitely do it. So that's a little bit about me. I spent 20 years in corporate America, traveled like crazy, frequently got sick and created a program, which we will talk about it in a second. So what I want to explain that what I look at I look at the traveler, which is me, right? I mean, someone who traveled all the time. And I look at that person as a focal point. And who else supports those people, frequent travelers? Two areas or two professions, beauty, salon, and, and aestheticians, spa salons, and so on, right? So I created programs for them. And I frequently, frequently speak at the beauty industry events, beauty for beauty companies, spa, and salon management uh, managers, owners, and so on. But I also created a program for travel agents. And yes, travel agents. And you may think like, oh my God, how, right? So I will show you that. Why is it important? Why is the program for travel agents? Because I look, spending 20 years in the travel industry, working with travel agents, I looked and I listened to their needs. People always want more revenue, more clients, new services to sell, add value, and more referrals. Am I missing anything, Kimberly, from the travel agency standpoint? Not that I can pick up. I need to go pick up my granddaughter real quick, but I can still hear you. I just need to go right in the next room. She's crying. Okay, so the next thing is I look at travelers, travelers' needs. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm looking at travelers' needs. OK, and what do they want? They want unique experiences. We know that for an affordable price, they want to be healthy and well, to be able to enjoy it. They want peace of mind and they want 
to save time. That's why they're hiring travel advisors, right? Kimberly, am I, miss, am I missing something? Nope, that's right. They want that that whole headache gone so that we can help to take care of that and make sure that they just can go have fun and a good exactly. time. And you know, rightfully so, right? That's why we exist to be able to support them. They will, They don't want to do research. They don't want to spend time on it, right? They want us. They are paying us for our service, for our knowledge, our expertise. Exactly. So why you? So I want you to think about you as a travel advisor, right? I, meaning me, Edita, I am the traveler. And when you think about that, I put my health into your hands. And you may think, oh my God, she's crazy. Actually, I'm not that crazy <laughs> as it may seem, but we travelers are putting our health into your hands. Why? You know, you get to decide what I do, how I do it, when I do it, you get to decide. And then let me show you how. You see on the right-hand side, it is all about, you know, the intimate details of my travel itinerary. You know what I will do and when, which aircraft type I will be traveling on, what seat I will be sitting in, right? You, many times, people just don't know. You just book it for them. You, you will know how far I will be sitting from the restroom, from the, you know, the little kitchen, whatever they have on the, you know, pantry on the plane, from the front of the plane, from the back of the plane, right? And let me, you know, when you think about it, let's translate it into how far will I, the travel and traveler, will be sitting away from the noise, from the bad smell, long lines to the bathroom, loud talk, right? That's exactly what, what's happening. In a hotel, same thing. You guys are helping me by selecting the room, requesting, working with the hotel, right? To contacting the hotel directly with the concierge or with the salesperson, right? So translating that into you decide how far I will be walking to the venue, how far my room will be away from the noise from the elevator or frequently slammed door, right? Or the uncomfortable bed, or, you know, if my even if my allergy gets worse. I was presenting at the GBTA last year in uh, in Brussels, in Europe, and one of the travel managers told, told me this, you know, she said, you have no idea. I have to ask hotels if their air conditioning and the vent is cleaned because my travelers are complaining that they are getting skin allergy in a particular, and that's what's happening from in a particular hotel. She said, it's amazing. So I said, you see, so what I'm saying is true, right? So translating that again, all of this means really discomfort, lack of sleep, irritated and dry looking skill, uh, skin. Um, you know, it impacts not only this, there are a lot of other things, right? Uh, that also means we are tired, lack of focus, we have lack of energy, lost productivity and everything else. And again, what's most important, more important to us is we want to look and feel 10 years younger and we don't. <laughs> we look 10 years older, right? That's what it is. All right. So what if I can show you this? Three simple strategies that can remove the overwhelm, grow revenue and build client loyalty for life. I mean, it's amazing. So let me start with the first one. There is this one concept that everybody actually mistake. Many people, many people, travelers, travel advisor, many, every single person I talk to pretty much says traveler well-being is at one year, once a year, a trip to a spa or to the meditation retreat or any other type of a retreat. And they come to me, people come to me and they say, Edita, do you do travel wellness? Like, do you do like a, organize a yoga retreat? <laughs> And then I say, absolutely not. I agree. All of this stuff is a part of it, but it is not all of it. So what I want to show you, I want to show you a definition, what truly traveler well-being means. So let me share another video. And I want to invite you in your free time. This is my website, which is finel.com. If you go to media, I have given over 40 TV interviews talking about health wellness, travel, travel or well-being, destinations, working with travel agents, buying insurance, you name it, everything was there. And I want to, in particular, you know, we, we are even talking about my book, Beauty and the Travel Beast. In particular one, this one I want to play, which explains the definition of what traveler well-being really truly is. 
before I do it, can you hear it? Some of us are getting ready to travel again, but it's important we keep Everybody, our health. Are you able to hear it or no? Yes, I can hear it. Okay, perfect. Health a top priority. It's all about the fact that we need to take care of our health and wellness before, during, and after travel. So to learn what we can do at each stage of our trip to make sure we're feeling our best, we turn to travel wellness expert, Edita Satchel. Before you travel, let's make health a priority. We are packing things like multiple face covering masks, hand sanitizers, and of course your clothes and toiletries. But when packing your skincare products, she says take into consideration the climate at your destination. For example, I have an oily skin. When I travel to dry destinations, India or other places, my oily skin will become super dry. So do some research. Your skin will thank you. And as for what food to eat before you travel, keep it clean. Definitely avoid anything greasy, anything oily, chips, burgers. This is a huge no-no before your travel. Next, let's look at what we should do during our trip, especially if we're hopping on a plane. When you're sitting on the plane, the humidity is super low. It's around 20%. Your skin will become dry. Your body will become dehydrated. You need to drink plenty of water. And Edita says eat lots of fruits and veggies. Like cucumbers, tomatoes, fruit like strawberries, watermelon, other fruit and veggies that will hydrate your body from inside out. And as for booze on the plane, when we are 35,000 feet above sea level, our body is experiencing something which is called hypoxia, which is a limited ability to absorb oxygen. Which she says can cause one drink to feel like we've drank two or three. So enjoy your favorite glass of champagne before you fly. Finally, let's round out our healthy trip with tips for when we get to our destination. Jet lag happens when we are crossing two and more time zones. So you may be sleepy when you arrive because it's nighttime at home, Edita says. Follow the rhythm of the day in the destination. For example, if there is a day, stay up to the end of that day in that destination. Don't go to bed at 1 p.m. Make sure that you hydrate again. Plenty of water, plenty of food and veggies. And she says, lather your skin in lotion. I personally love the face sheet masks that you can put on. If you follow these tips, Edita says, you will feel absolutely amazing and healthy, energized, super productive and picture ready always. Now we can be happy and healthy as we Does it make sense? That's the definition, Kimberly, when it comes to traveler well-being. Does this make sense to you? Yes. And I've done a lot of I've done a lot of world travel prior to this I was 30 years in oil and gas and I traveled the world because that's where my teams were so I know exactly all of this what you need to take what you need to do and things like that because when you go in especially when you're going into different types of weather and things like that is is adjusting your stuff it isn't necessarily the same as it is, is at home that's exactly right. So there are a lot of those TV interviews that people can watch and you can share it with your team as well. So that makes sense. We already agreed with that. So the second thing is to be able to support our travelers, our clients, right? It's key to provide your clients at a minimum with information like smart packing, nutrition tips, beauty vitality tips, you know, fighting jet lag tips, right? Emotional wellness, you know, many people are still not ready to do it, you know, and they are hesitant to travel, especially the older uh, uh, generation, right? Physical wellness is an impactful uh, for everyone, regardless of the age, right? Even, you know, for the kids, because they cannot sit still, right? We know that. So look at what we have. And a lot of stuff, um, this is just a portion of it, because we don't have a lot of time today. This is just a portion of what's possible, what's available. So things like evaluating your travel wellness before you even start, before you do anything, right? Uh, you can evaluate yourself. Um, we conducted research among 3,000 different people who are talking about, you know what, getting ready to travel. Am I ready? Am I not? The issues, what's happening? We are sharing the survey here. Um, Traveler-related issues. We are educating people. How can you travel? Why is it that we are puffy? Why is it that we gain weight? Why is it that we are here having hearing problems. Many times we hear people, 
oh, I had, I have a diarrhea. I am vomiting. I am, I am sick when I get off the plane. Why? Because people with sensitive stomachs don't even know and understand that tea and coffee is made with water, which is never boiled. And that's an issue. Um, getting people ready in the emotional wellness is the number one, you know, wellness or well-being. Uh, I call this a dimension that is important for us. So teaching them, helping them with this is super important too. What can you do to states of being, right? Uh, the rule of three, the before, the during, and the after. If people understand that, they can maximize on their travel. Finally, enjoy it again. Looking at the before travel, look at this, how much content is already here. Smart parking. So one thing I want to bring it to your attention is we people, you know, let's say we are split into two groups. Let's say healthy people and people with compromised immune systems. And there are so many of our clients who have that compromised immune system without us knowing about it, right? Because they don't share. Healthy people are having problems to deal with jet lag and health and wellness during travel, before, during and after travel. Let's not forget about the people who have the compromised immune system. So we are, when we are working with them, we are supporting them. We need to also think about them. And this is just a smart packing where we talk about both groups, people who are considered or defined as healthy and those guys who have a compromised immune system, cancer survivors, they have that something they have to, we have to be aware of and support them. Um, every time um, I like to talk about every TV interview and whenever they ask me about travel agents, I always say you need to work with travel advisors. There is so much value in this. And, um, but I also talk about radiation, the truth about radiation. We teach, did you know that actually every time, um, and it's not me who said it, people who are much, much smarter than me, right? They say, as, uh, in, in the book, uh, Cleanse to Heal, Anthony William, he is saying that our luggage should be changed every third trip. And what he says, not because it's not a return trip, it's one way trip. So he's saying that our luggage goes through so much radiation. And now when we are traveling, it's above our heads on the plane. All those pieces of luggage have a small portion of that radiation. And we are actually uh, doing that, absorbing that in a way, and then we are coming home, our kids are playing around that luggage, that's the, they're sitting on this luggage, and we are, you know, sleeping next to it too, that's what's, what's happened. All right, beauty and vitality tips, how are we, how are we taking care of our travelers, how are we supporting them, giving them advice, and so on, what to do, what not to do, right, to look 10 years younger, to feel 10 years younger, um, contamination zones, we're teaching, they should know the contamination zones, not only on the plane, but every single step of the way of their travel, the moment they leave the house. This particular, uh, you know, presentation, the slide shows uh, the contamination zones on the plane. Anything in front of us is the contamination zone number number one. Uh, those trays, those uh, entertain, uh, entertaining entertainment screens, and so on and so on, right? So we need to teach our clients about that, educate them. <laughs> I talk about eating your water, right? You saw it in the video. What does it really mean, eating fruit and veggies? But I frequently, I present at different uh, uh, um, uh, events, conferences. I frequently talk about eating your sunscreen. Can you eat your sunscreen? And people are like, what? <laughs> so yes, you can. It's about eating the right veggies. And you know what? Eating your water, we can talk about tomatoes, but eating your sunscreen, cooked tomatoes. Cooked tomatoes have 3.8, the higher, th by 3.8 times higher when they are cooked <clears throat> in this natural SPF factor, which I cannot even pron uh, you know, pronounce, but that's what it is. Dealing with jet lag, I like natural ways and a lot of people like this more synthetic ways, right? But you can deal with this with food as well. I'm a health, health coach, integrative nutrition health coach. I can talk about it. I love talking about supporting people uh, because I don't take tablets. I don't like to take medication. How can you support those people who like the natural ways? Human body clock. I want to give you one example. The Chinese body clock, right? So imagine this, we are traveling, 
we are jet lagged. Uh, we don't have to travel far to be jet lagged, right? But when we understand our human body clock and looking at one of our most important organs, which is called liver, our liver is responsible for detoxification of our body. What that means is um, it helps us to remove toxins. An example of a toxin is alcohol. Alcohol, it takes our liver three days, up to three days to remove alcohol from our body. So our liver requires peace and quiet, let's say it, and that time for the regeneration and the optimal time or the liver is at its peak between one and three in the morning. So imagine this, where we're traveling, our body is so confused. So instead of our liver to rest, we are pumping into our liver alcohol, heavy, greasy food and everything else. And people wonder, why am I puffy? Why am I gaining weight? Why am I the way I am? You know, I mean, so many times I get those questions, but they don't pay attention because they don't understand. They just don't know what to do. Oh, I get the question. Can you eat, can you brush your teeth without a toothbrush and a toothpaste, especially in destinations that are, that have questionable water, right? Yes, you can, because there is something which is called oil pooling, right? Aging. You see, this is when you are coming back home. When you talk about um, during travel, you know, the before, the during and after travel, the during travel, we also have to remember about two things, which is things like in destination, but also in transit to the destination we're getting there. After travel is equally important. People forget about it. They don't do it. Uh, equally important as the during travel. How are we taking care of our health and wellness when you come home? And you know what? I talk a lot about the aging. Yes, aging is important because aging, you know what? It's all about our health and wellness. Every take, trip we take takes a toll on our health and wellness. That's the truth. And also aging. Um, a lot of people, I have gluten intolerant. In, I am gluten, gluten intolerant. And you know what? When you look at that, I like to talk about that in a way, even your beauty cosmetics, gluten-free cosmetics. Gluten is everywhere, even in chewing gum, hot dogs, you name it, pretty much everywhere. So how can we, people who have that sensitivity, so we are teaching our travelers to learn that too. Also rejuvenating, we like to take sample supplements. We should, right? What kind of supplements are right? I remember my doctor, I'm from Poland originally. So I go to Poland once a year and I have an annual checkup done over there in a holistic way, right? I go there with my daughter. So that's where I learned. I've been learning and listening to my doctor about that. The um, supplement doesn't equal a supplement. What that means is uh, you need to pay attention to the good quality supplement not just any supplement, right? Because vitamin D in one doesn't equal the vitamin D in the other. And I'm not talking about those portions or, you know, of that. I'm talking about the quality of that. Even in tablets, vitamins, you will gummies and so on, you will see gluten is added. Even in those, we have to pay attention what we're eating. Sugar, I like to talk about sugar and sugar labeling. Where is what's happening with that, right? Where is that hidden sugar? What's the name of that sugar that we are not able to recognize? Especially when we are running at the airport, we are in a rush trying to grab something, so-called healthy food, healthy snack, and it's not so healthy because it has so much sugar. Also physical wellness. You know what people talk about physical wellness just don't realize that they think that they need to kill themselves at the gym. That's what I used to do. Didn't lose a pound. I used to go five times a, um, a week to the gym. And I was frustrated, didn't lose a pound. You know why? Because I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know that I need to detoxify my body first in order to be able effectively, you know, do the other stuff. It's not only about eating healthy food. When your liver is not working and functioning and you are going and killing yourself at the gym, not the right way to do it. Look at this. Um, very innovative uh, thing is creating, you see, you guys are responsible, travel advisors are responsible for creating travel itineraries, right? For travelers, you know exactly, you, me as a traveler, where I will be going, traveling, what time am I landing, what time I will be in the hotel, right? But now teaching travel agents should be able to teach themselves, or we can help them with this, to create beauty 
and vitality itineraries. I call, the, I call them BVI. So those BVI, beauty and vitality itineraries, those BVI are for people. But you know what? They also include things like an aircraft types. Things like, you know what aircraft I should I be traveling? And you guys should be pointing them into the right direction. Looking at this example, United Airlines Boeing 787, and how is this supporting my, my as a traveler, health and wellness? Fewer headaches, less dizziness and fatigue, less dryness, right? The humidity on the plane is so low. It's 20% only, and it should be 60 and to 80. That's the norm. And it's not, right? How are we supporting them? And of course, creating those beauty and vitality itineraries for every single trip they go on. And because, you know, when you think about that, the beauty, vitality itineraries, right, those things depend on the place we go to, our age. You see, the, the way we traveled a year ago is not the same. And I'm not talking about COVID or other things. I'm talking about us aging. That's what it is. We are aging, right? But also the health and wellness vitality routines depend on the seasonality, the climate we live in, geography, the place we're going to, the climate in the new destination, time zones, alt uh, altitude, longitude, however you say it, I cannot even pronounce it, right? But that's what it is, means of transportation, the health and wellness routine will be different on the cruise and different on the plane, right? Our medical conditions as well. All right, so look, it, it took me a long time to put all of this together. It's an amazing content, so much content. And we, I just showed you a few things, right? Look at that. And when I look at this, in two t I travel a lot. In 2022 alone, it looks like I went around the world three times. I didn't even know. But we have something which is called timelines, on Google timelines, right? The smart tool is telling us where we are. He's tracking us and so on and so on. And, you know, how much time we spent everywhere. But also, you know, how much did I walk? Maybe probably not enough, right? How many hours, 181 hours I spent on the plane? Is this a lot? I don't know. Sounds like a lot to me. Uh, driving. But, you know, I was driving more than flying, right? But that's when you look at that, I pretty much uh, uh, was flying every single month, except for three months, right? But I know what happened. I was at conferences <laughs> in New York and I don't fly to New York. I take a bus or a train, right? So those are the things that are happening. It takes time. Anyway, uh, I encourage everyone to look at their timelines as well. So what are your first thoughts, Kimberly? What do you think? No, I, I think that, I mean, I think it's really interesting because it's a lot of the things that people don't think about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm before they go, especially when they're going to be traveling overseas, more so out of the country and different types of travel. Cause you're right. You have to take care of yourself differently on a cruise than you would if you're flying everywhere. That's exactly right. You know what? Many times, you know, many people may think like, oh my God, right. The first thought, that's exactly what you said. Right. But they also think like, oh my God, I, as a travel agent, how can I do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of content. Do I need to know all of this? Right. I cannot do it, you know, myself. I don't have the knowledge, the skill set. I'm not a health coach. I don't, I don't have the time to learn. I don't have the tools to learn. You know, um, I'm the travel agent, right? Or people even may think, people, my clients can Google it. I want to say it. No, you cannot. Because you know what? Googling all of this information will take you take you years. That's why they hire us travel advisors, right? To So we can save their time. And that's the truth. So let me remind you, because it's very important that we understand we are travel advisors, empowered, right? We have the tools. We know exactly how people are traveling. We put them on that health and wellness path as well, right? People come to us for advice. They, We are their trusted confidant, right? They want us to tell them how and what. They talk about divorces with us. They talk about their kids' problems, school problems, other things, right? And sometimes it feels like, you know, we are the priests, right? <laughs> As well. That's what it is. Oh, so that's what, that's what people, that's what people do. And that's how they feel. And our job is to guide them, is to support them, is to teach them, right? That's what you do. You teach them about the travel. Now it's time to, to teach them about the wellness and health and well-being too. So. You can access the stuff today. 
because your job is to guide your clients, but my job is to guide you. So I want to show you this, what other people actually are saying. And that's what, what uh, Tyler, and he messaged me. Maybe I should put the message on LinkedIn. He said this, I love the program. I specialize in family travel because I love bringing families closer together, right? They, and this is amazing. The next sentence is amazing. He says, if they are getting sick, air sick because they didn't eat well before a flight, then they will not be happy together. And that's true. They will be miserable. And he says, if someone is not having fun on their family vacation, then it means I, I, as a travel agent, I'm not doing the right job and I'm not doing my job. So the, he joined the program straight away. Um, my question to you is, can you monetize it? Kimberly, do you think you can monetize it? Oh, I'm sure. Anything that you can add on to their trip, you can definitely monetize. Exactly. And I want to show you how to do it because we have a program, which is, and this is strategy number two. It's about making money. Do you remember I was telling you how to make money? So we have a referral program. We created courses, programs for frequent travelers. And even if they go on vacation once a year, this program is amazing for anniversaries, weddings, big events, you know, ladies going out for a weekend, right? To spa resorts and so on, yoga retreats and so on. Any type of travel for people to look and feel their best where they will take an online course, our course, and you will introduce that course to them. And what you can do, give them a link, they will sign up and you get commission for it. And I will explain how that works. And think about groups, groups of people traveling together. And when groups of people travel together, what we do, we take the group and when individual people are learning how to create their own vitality itineraries, beauty, vitality, wellness itineraries, we do it for groups. So if you have a wedding groups, if you have a luxury group, if you have a family traveling together, we will do it for them. We will create a beauty vitality itinerary for them that corresponds to their travel itinerary and we will present it on Zoom. That's what we do. So um, we will show you links that you can put on the social media, uh, send it via email, include it in the itinerary, right? Send it to or add it to emails like welcome emails, welcome back, long time no see, and so on and so on, right? That kind of stuff. But also you can put it on your website and I will show you how to do it. And of course, upsell to groups. This is the affiliate program, referral partner program. And this is, um, where you will have area, you see this is a data satchel, welcome to data satchel. You will have that area which talks about links and those are the links. And the second one is a very important part, which is the revenue, how much money you are making. So those are the links you can take. That's what I said. If you can send an email, welcome back email and send them an, a link to a course, to the program or to the ebook, which is Beauty and the Travel Beast where you can see the way you will set it up for yourself. You will see your name somewhere or your agency name. And we will in this way recognize it came from you. What that means also, you are getting money paid. We know exactly who and how. So there are links to it. We are giving you access to the our vault, to the library of images, where you can take it to the videos and a lot of other things that you can have, you will have access to it. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You are using those banners, promotional marketing information. Um, revenue, very important revenue. We are checking your revenue, how much money, who, what, how, right? So you will see this is calculated in a way that we pay 10% commission of the net amount. So we subtract the credit card fees and then we pay you commission, okay? You know exactly how much. You know, when you click, give the link to your client, you know how many people clicked on that link and whether you put the link on the website or in the email or on the social media post, you put those links. And what's happening is uh, people are clicking on that link. You know how many people clicked. And also what's the conversion rate? What else? You will know how many products are sold. You will know exactly everything. This is a gate very nice lady and she owns an agency and she basically says um 
I'm working with B2B referrals for Lax and corporate travel clientele, which has been a true blessing. I like Agate, a very nice lady. I put your brochure and, and an ad with my packages for additional services, and it makes me money. I wow, I wow my clients every time and they keep coming back. It's so easy to link them to your service and it's a, it's a shame, it's a pity to admit, but I don't have to move a finger. And that's exactly why we are doing this. So you don't have to move a finger. My clients keep buying your courses and I collect the money. It's basically, seriously, you put the link, the system recognizes it came from you and you are making money, you are checking your things. Charles, this is another one. Charles Wheeler, who is in Texas, he says, I service CEOs and they like it so much that I edit your traveler well-being page into my website. I hope you don't mind. I thank you for your help and I appreciate that you are driving me into the right uh, direction. Thank you for all you are doing. Yeah, he sends me a lot of thank you emails. He so much likes it so much. So this is the sort of the link. But this is the website. I, I, when he told me about it, he sent me the link. I took a look at that. What he really did you see, traveler well-being, he created a tab, right? And this is his tab when you go there. What you see, this copy, this copy, let me show you this, is the exact copy of our courses, travelers. You see that? It's the exact copy. See this one and the presentation? It's the exact copy. And I totally don't mind. That's why it's here, where you can... Copy paste the information, but this link needs to be changed to your link. So because when they right now, this is my link. And when people come and click, I get the money, right? When, but this needs to be your link. So all of this, this is what Charles did. See that? All of this, all of this, all of this. He copied pasted. I don't totally mind. When people click on that, they will be, it will be your link but they will get information about what it is. What is this program all about, right? And those are the sales pages where their questions should be answered. So if they don't know what to do, how, and so on and so on, they should be able to read here as well. All right, okay. So that's what Charles did, which is kudos to Charles. What else? How much does it cost? I get that question a lot, right? And people tell me, oh, I can't afford it. I don't have the money. You know, times are difficult. I'm waiting for my check. I've heard it all, right? And that's, I, I totally understand. <laughs> totally get that, right? I totally get it. But I want to show you something. So this is, it's an offer that we have. Uh, and what we, will, what we are showing is something like um, a few items in that offer. So you are people, travel agents, are getting access to the curriculum, online curriculum, for 59 videos. That's what we just discussed. It's just a few things, right? Because we don't have time to talk about all of this. 640 minutes of listening time, watching, learning. There are attachments. There are worksheets. There are templates. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? I don't want you to. I want you to save time. The course is called, the program for travel agents is called the Business of Traveler Wellness for Travel Agents, right? That's what it is. The value of that is $675. That's how much we are selling it for on the website. Number two, you're getting access to eight different guides, templates, and tools. So smart packing, you don't have to think about it. All of these tools are for you. You are getting it. You don't have to create anything, right? You can share it. You can change the logo. You can send it to your client. I really don't care. It's for you to use it so you are saving your time. I don't want you to do the research. No one has time to do research. That's why you're getting those tools. The value of that is $600. Number three, one-on-one -on -one business coaching. So if whoever signs up with this uh, is getting two hours, consulting hours with me, brainstorming hours with me, right? 60 minutes each. So you guys are getting access to my calendar. $500 value, okay? Refer access to the referral program. And this is amazing because when you think about it, access to the referral program is uh, for you guys priceless. Why? Because with this access, you are making money, right? But at the same time, uh, it's whatever you will pay for that program, and there is some money, you will not have to. There will be the return on investment will be pretty much immediate. Pretty, pretty much immediate. So 
that's what you are getting. Item number five, you're getting access to the library. Right now, the library, the value of that is $120 because we charge um, $10 for every month, okay? And to tell you the truth, people like it because they don't have to do anything. So to tell you all of this, so Kimberly, let me ask you this question. If you had all of this and you didn't have to you know, move a finger, lift a finger, would you like all of this? What do you think? Oh, absolutely. And tell me, looking at all of this, because again, I mean, we're giving you all of this information out of curiosity. How much would you value this for? Like I give you some value, right? For all of it, each item. Mm -hmm. But my question to you is, what would be like thinking about that, thinking about the time that we put into, into this together and so on, what would be the price for how much would people because it will generate them so much money. How much money? What do you think? I'm just curious. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, it's 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 hard to say. There's a lot of value in it. So probably a lot of a lot of value, a lot of money, right? That's what people think. So looking at that, 675 value of that of the course of the curriculum curriculum, 59 hours of mm -hmm. content. This is the um, templates. Mm -hmm. Two hours with me. Refill our partner program uh, access to it, right? Which gives you the money back. Access to the library, right? To our vault. Mm -hmm. All of this is $1,900. So when you put this all together today, but we are offering that for $345. $345 only if you pay in full. All of this is for $345. Why? Because it's a program that helps people. I truly believe, I truly believe that we give, we our job is to help people. I truly mm -hmm. believe in this. This cannot be, I don't want to put it on a $2,000 price because people may feel like I want it, but many people, many situations, I cannot afford that. Right. Different, different situations, right? Mm -hmm. 345 is doable. That's the feedback I got from travel agents. That's why we are offering for now. The price will go up. And I'm just telling you, Kimberly, because this is the, the beginning of all of it. Okay. This is a new program. And there are two things. What to do next? You can pay in full 345 or three times $120. Sometimes people say, Edith, I'm waiting for the check. You know, I'm waiting for this. And I say, okay, you can pay it for three months, once a month. $120. And what's happening is even before you start paying it, we are charging once a month. You are you are the consume the program. You are already making money. Because you know what? People want to know, can I make money? Yes, you can. Because you are already promoting it. We are showing you how. Promoting it on social media. You are selling the program to your travelers. And you know what's happened next? You are making money. So even before you pay for it, you are already making money. That's the truth. So if you are interested in that, uh, <clears throat> I will send you the links, Kimberly, to your okay. email. Would you, would you be interested? Would you consider this kind of stuff? I would definitely <laughs> consider it. I want to talk to John first about it because we kind of, you know, for pulling everything in on that. But um, I would definitely consider it because it's an added additional step for people that I can provide. So... Kimberly, the good news is I don't mind, I really don't mind for you because it's per person. If if John uses your account and he's also using learning that. Okay. So you are already have you already have two in one. Right, right. So yeah, let me I'll I'll need to talk to him. If you send me the links, I'll talk to him and see. Um, and then I'll get back with you on that. But yeah, I'm definitely interested. Um, but I run everything now that we're going to be pulling our business, you know, doing our business and everything together. I want to definitely run things by, by him because we're looking at all of our stuff, all of our tools and everything else that we use right now. So totally. I And that's the right thing to do for you. Look at the tools, yeah. what you have and look at the value that this will do. The yeah. moment you pay, we will give you access to the tool. So you will get access to the tool. Like I said at the beginning today, okay. straight okay. away. You have access to the program for 12 months. Gotcha. So you have time to consume it as mm -hmm. many times 
as as you want and as long as you want. Okay. You'll get access to the program. You will get access to the online courses, to the affiliate program. We will send you a link to sign okay. up for the affiliate program. Okay. Uh, guidelines and everything else and access to my calendar so we can schedule the call. Gotcha. Remember, when you get and talk to me on the call, you can be with John with on the call too. Okay. Awesome. I don't mind at all. Okay. That's it. Thank all you. All right. Kimberly, was it good? Was it helpful? It was good. It was good. So yes, yeah, just definitely send me the links and then I'll get with John. He's on a job today. He does he does home automation right now. Um, he's on a job today, so it'll probably be this afternoon or this evening before I'm able to talk to him, but I'll Remember, absolutely get back with you. One thing though, it's only for today. Okay. By the end of day. Because tomorrow okay. no. Okay. Kimberly. You have beautiful, beautiful uh, granddaughters, right? Thank you. Yes, yes, absolutely. I totally, totally agree. Beautiful girls. Do you think the program will help you do uh, things that you are uh, focused on and planning on doing and working with your clients? As well, yeah, because I'm always looking for other things that I can provide, something that makes me a little bit different. Um, than the people that I compete with, especially because I look at people that want to go hiking, want to go backpacking across Europe. Well, they need to be pretty healthy when they're doing that kind of stuff. So adding this into there and allowing, you know, giving them the tools of what they should be taking, different things like that. So I will give you a tip. If you have a group and we want to, let's say, create that because you will create a price for the group. And if this is a group, $20,000 $20, group, right? You can charge them $1,000, $2,000 for, for the program, the wellness, beauty and wellness itinerary that BVI, that I was talking about, that we will put together. And what you will do, you don't have to tell them if you guys want it. You will include it in the price and you will say, guys, because we are doing this together, because you are doing this through me, because I am your agent, I'm offering this to this training to you, this program to you in that group environment. So that's a gift from me to you. Can so you they won't even know that they paid for it. Exactly. You just added it into the price of the trip. Exactly. So you don't say if you want it, you just add it to the price of the trip and you will say, Edita, I have this group. And I mm -hmm. will tell you, I will ask you, you know, I will, I will need to know the details and so on and so on. But mm -hmm. remember, if you charge them $300 and the minimum is $350 mm -hmm. for a group of 10 people, if you charge them $350, you are getting $35. If you charge them $2,000, you are getting $200. It's a huge difference, right? Right, right. And you don't even have to tell them. You are saying, guys, it's a gift from me to they you. think it's coming from me it's they exactly. don't have no idea that it's coming from another program exactly yeah. this is my little okay. tip that i share because in this case you are a hero you are competing right did you remember mm -hmm. i told you like how to compete how to be ahead of the company that's how you do it add value that's what yeah it. yeah awesome well let me get let me Thank get with so john much. and then i'll get back with you um here a little Thank bit you. later today I will email you. I will send you the links. All right. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.